get him matches. Down from there, you son of a bitch! Right now! That's an order! I don't think they're in a talkative don't make mood me right angry, now. Smucko. Get down here and face the music! You can't get What do you think you're doing up there, you scrawny little runt? Get down here right now! You're only making it worse for yourself! What do you think you're doing up there, you scrawny little runt? Get down here right now! Come down from there, you son of a bitch! Right now! That's an order! I don't want to record them right now. Don't make me angry, Smucko! Get down here and face the music! You can't get away that easy. Nobody puts one over on... Einstein! Help! Lay off! Get away Get from me, you crazy mutt! Go, go away, dog! We're busy here! Go on, scram! Hey! Where'd he go? You let him get away, idiot! Not sure what that. Not sure what that. What now? Kid. Arthur McFly? Yeah? Got something for you. Thanks. A subpoena? Ordering you to appear in court and provide evidence in the investigation into- Kid Tannen? Take it back! You can't get rid of it, Mr. McFly. Once you've been served, it's your duty to report to the court at the earliest possible time. Failure to do so could lead to a warrant for your arrest. Arrest? But kid will kill me. Stupid, stupid Artie. Holy cats, what am I gonna do? I suggest you avail yourself to the protection of the court. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Oh, I hate doing stuff like that, but I won't have to much longer. No? Once we get that 190 proof alcohol and build my rocket drill, my future will be set and I'll be able to quit this crummy job. Oh, right. Spike. Huffy? Huffy? I'm not huffy. I'm passionate. 
passionate about justice, safety, law, and order. Uh, never mind. Hey, uh, Miss Strickland. Oh, hello, Mr. Corleone. Try not to draw any undue attention my way. I'm on the trail of a hot new scoop, as we in the newspaper business say. What's the scoop? I've heard rumors that something shady is going on at the Sisters of Mercy soup kitchen. It's under new management, you know. And, oh, we mustn't jump to any conclusions. Not till the facts are in. I hope to heaven it is just a rumor. That soup kitchen is the front line in the good fight. If it goes bad, what will happen to the Stay Sober Society? Not to mention all the charitable institutions that depend on me for soup deliveries. You make hot soup deliveries? It's one of my many small contributions to the good cause. Healthy bodies, healthy souls. Or so one hopes. I pick up barrels of hot soup at the kitchen, and I deliver them hither and thither. Hill Valley Orphanage, the St. Francis Xavier Ranch for Unwanted Children, Foggy Mountain Home for the Incurably Insane, Shady Acres Rest Home. Oh, I can barely keep track of them all. It's a very big job. Hey, I can help you deliver soup. I don't need a lot of time to charities. Oh? Which ones? The, um, Mario Brothers. Ah, uh, yes. The Italians do so many good works. If you'll just fix it so I can pick up the barrels of soup. Now hold your horses, let's not get over eager. I drive the soup cycle in this town, and I'm not about to turn it over to an upstart. But, if you're well connected with the local charitable institutions... Yeah? You can let me know when they're running low on soup. What's the Stay Sober Society? You haven't heard of the SSS? They do the most marvelous work, taking hopeless drunken bums and turning them into former hopeless drunken bums. I'm one of the founding members. And not to say that I was ever, oh, well, you know. Anyway, we've always met in the cellar of the Sisters of Mercy soup kitchen. But for some reason, the new managers don't want us down there, so we're stuck. We've got nowhere to meet. I know a place where the Stay Sober Society can meet. Oh, where? Brown residence. You mean Judge Brown's place? Yeah, I happen to be good friends with his son Emmett, and he's told me the judge would love to lend his place out for, you know, good causes like yours. Really? Why, that's the most generous, public spirited offer I've received in a month of Sundays. Please tell your friend Emmett we accept. The meeting isn't due to start for a little while, so that'll give our people some time to set up. I got a book. Oh, where? Cue ball. What? what? The truck the just truck arrived with a fresh shipment of, uh, soup. Soup? Soup? Well, uh, this is the regular soup, and this is the special soup. Right. Special. Hey, what are you doing? I'm spicing up the soup. It's my secret recipe. Listen, this ain't the Savoy, and we ain't here to feed these bozos no fancy soup. The boss has got a business to rebuild, so knock off the goofing and mind your post. All right, all right, just try the soup. Well? Ah, I can see why you want to keep this a secret.
There's no way I'm going to keep that door open without some help. Huddle up, Emmett. Huddle? Just listen up for a second. Damn it, I can't get into the door over there. Those tables are jamming it shut. The door? So your plan is to just waltz in there and take a barrel of alcohol? Uh, no, uh, of course not. That would be stupid, right? I'll say. Still, I'd like to get that door open. I can't do anything from out here. Well, it's a simple matter of physics. A lever, some sort of stop. Let me see what I can come up with. Eureka! Emmett. Emmett. Yes? yes? We'll score that hooch somehow. I'll keep cogitating. Pretty neat, Doc. Nope. I'm still not getting through here. But at least those tables are propped up now. Uh, excuse me. Yeah. Can I have a bowl of soup? We're a soup kitchen. What do you think? What kind of soup is this? It tastes like... Scrolle Ribolita? I was gonna say weak old cabbage. Everyone's a critic. Look, all I got to work with is this two-bit soup in a barrel and spice rack that hadn't been restocked since the Coolidge administration. What do you think I should do to perk this slop up? Let's see. Have you tried... Giving the soup a little heat, maybe? Why, is it getting cold? No, I, I mean, like chili powder. Muy caliente. Oh, bit of a tough guy, huh? Actually, I like it spicy, too. But it's gotta be edible for the common folks. Come on, a little dash isn't gonna kill anyone. Aw, oh, heck. You got moxie, kid. Let's spice it up a bit, shall we? Doc Jr.'s thingamabob holds out. Okay. okay, I've got some more ideas about your soup. Do tell. Let's see. Have you tried... Parsley? It might help to, uh, complement the mellow flavor of the cabbage. Complement the mellow... What are you talking about? Trust me. Hmm. You might be on to something, kid. Let me see what I got.